The leader of Islamic State died in a U.S. Special Forces raid in northern Syria on Thursday, when he detonated a bomb that killed him and family members, the U.S. administration said. Abu Ibrahim al-Hashim al-Qureshi had led the group since the death of its founder, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, who was also killed when he detonated explosives during a U.S. raid in 2019. Rescue workers said at least 13 people, including women and children, were killed by clashes and explosions that erupted after the raid began. It targeted a house in Atme, close to the Turkish border. US President Joe Biden said the Islamic State leader had been taken off the battlefield and all Americans had returned safely from the operation. A senior US administration official told Reuters Qureshi detonated a bomb at the start of the operation that killed him and family members, including women and children. Residents said helicopters landed and heavy gunfire and explosions were heard during the raid, which began around midnight. We went out and saw planes above us. Ten minutes later, we heard screams. Surrender! The house is surrounded! Baghdadi led Islamic State when it took over swathes of Syria and Iraq and ruled over millions of people at the height of its self-declared caliphate. It was defeated on the battlefield, but it's now re-emerging as a deadly force, waging insurgent attacks in Iraq and Syria. U.S. military procedures to guard against civilian casualties are currently under scrutiny, following a high-profile mistaken drone strike in Afghanistan that the Pentagon initially hailed a success. A number of jihadist groups with links to al-Qaeda operate in northwestern Syria, the last major bastion of rebels fighting President Bashar al-Assad in the decade-long Syrian war.